Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking briefly at a situation where strokes are dealt with differently in Illustrator depending on where the stroke is placed on the object. So I have three control objects up here and I've got the exact same objects down underneath. So this one is duplicated down here. I have some black boxes over these objects. I'm going to crop them. So I'm going to use this black box to crop away this circle underneath. So I'm doing this in the Pathfinder and there's an option here called Crop. So I'll just click on that and crop it. And let's crop all three of these. And the issue here is that the crop is dealt with differently on this particular shape because you can see that the stroke has not been applied to the finished object. Now on this object and this object, which come from these two shapes here, you might notice that in this case the stroke is on the inside of the object. So the object is marked out by this outside edge and the stroke is located on the inside. When we go to the stroke panel here, you'll see that this is the option that's selected, align stroke to inside. Here the stroke is aligned to the outside. Here's this option, align stroke to outside. So these two are treated as similar when we use the crop tool and the stroke here has been applied to the inside here the stroke has been applied to the outside of the resulting shape once the crop has taken place on this one the stroke is aligned to the center so we can see here stroke is aligned to the center but when we crop it this has no stroke so the stroke has been removed in the process this is really easy to fix. You can reapply the stroke to this shape really easily and put it exactly where you want. But it is also an indication of why sometimes when you're following along somebody else's video, the result that you get might be very different to the result that they get. And the reason for this is that your settings might be different. So when I drag to create an ellipse, let me just reset this. So I'm going to set this to clear appearance. So this should ensure that any new shape that I create doesn't have a pre-prescribed appearance. Let's just go and drag out a circle. And I'm going to apply a stroke to it. So let me just go and get my stroke here. And this is the color that we were working with. Let me just increase the stroke value. And you can see that in my version of Illustrator right now, when I create a shape, my stroke is going on the center of this object. Now yours might be different and that could potentially lead you to all sorts of issues. You may see something being shown on the web and somebody does a crop or does something and all of a sudden what you're seeing as your result doesn't match what they see as their result. Now I have another video on my YouTube channel which explains another situation in which the placement of a stroke is going to affect what happens when you expand a stroked path. So I'm going to link that one too for you in the description below because again there's a different behaviors depending on where your stroke is on your path. It makes no sense to have different behaviors or no sense that I can understand. But if you know that there are potential issues, then you'll be more aware of it if it happens to you. Now, before we finish up, if you're interested, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you would get access to thousands of classes there, including over 270 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer. Typically, mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at udemy.com and I've given you referral links for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned things about Illustrator of which you were unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.